you know, I've always had that theory that Shaq, when Shaq came in the league, it kind of altered perception for future bigs. You got to remember, you're sitting at 300 pounds. If you can't, he came in at 92. If you're if you're 95 and you're you're coming in uh, 1995 and you're Kevin Garnett and you're sitting at seven foot. 220, do you really want to go against Shaq? Or are you going to look at that four man who's 6'5"? Oh, uh, yeah, undersized four men, they're brutes. I'll take my chances with them. You know, so they're never going to try to score because they're just defensive players. They just want to enforcers. So I just, I, I have a field day. So now you got Keith Van Horn, you got all these centers that came into the NBA as four men instead of five men. Well, also, they saw Shaq and said, I don't want to go. Yeah, that. but that's what I'm saying. So instead of being the future of fives, they said, F we're going to all go become fours. So mm -hmm. all the Dirk Nowinskis, the Tim Duncans, they all went four men instead of the five. That's why the four men developed. And so really, quick. there was a run of bigs that didn't make yeah. it because they were trying to make, like, a <laughs> guy who popped into my head, Michael Ola Candy. Yeah. Well, it was like, well, oh, shit, you're Yeah, but that's what they end up like, you know, like to him too, it's like, hey, you came to the Clippers, so you know, it's like you didn't even have a chance. Well, to really, it was probably team. like, I mean, Yao. Was but Yao was really, I mean, Yao was did... forced to be a five. <laughs> yeah, you know. But other than that, it was just like McGlore. You didn't really have five. No. They all transferred to the fours. Like and even right now, players. all in the fours. Yeah, and they couldn't play that position because they never developed at that position. You know, so a lot of coaches and you know. Even when I tell the young guys that I talk to that haven't made it to the league yet, try to develop every every skill that you can mm -hmm. because you never know how a coach will use you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of times guys will be like, yeah, I play the four. Well, don't play the four. Play the one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, and five because the coach might – you might not grow to be yeah. six eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times in high school, a coach will have a center that's six four. And he'll suck at the next <laughs> level because he's been playing center his whole life. And he's six <laughs> four. That's <laughs> I always said it. That's that's how Zion was. He was yeah. damn near the center in high school. And now he, they got him playing what? Power three? four. Four, three? And no, he's play. been paying power four. He's going to try to come in the league as a, a three. He That's going to be hard. And I, and I think, <laughs> okay. and I I think he's was. athletic. I think he's gifted. But it's going to be hard because he's like a tweener. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard for him to play a, a five. Like, a, should a five, four, nah, three? A five, yeah. I mean, like, even it's the three, threes, three you still him. got LeBron, you got KD. These are all six, Guys ten, like seven Giannis footers. So like, yeah. you got, you're six, six. Like, your jumping ability means nothing at that point because you're giving up four or five inches of height. So you got to take that away from your vertical also. Yeah. Because if you're jumping at a 43 at six, six, they need 37, 36, plus their arm length. You're you're not actually jumping over them at this point. So it's like, you know, Way these big different. guys, the average big guy at the three, four, five, six, ten with a thirty-seven, that's easy. Like you're not jumping through anybody. And that's when I realized when you said, ah right. <laughs> LeBron ain't coming through here. And it's like, wait, what do you mean? I, I know what he did to us. He was coming through there. You know, but then I realized, well, Michael Ruffin was six eight. So when he jumped, Michael Ruffin wasn't close. When you jump, yeah, I'm over. I'm making yeah, 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 yeah. He's sitting there, like, trying to, like, oh, shit, the ball is only at his face. I still need to climb more. And he was a freak athlete, you know, but you went up against a freak athlete. You know, it's like everyone in there is a freak. It, 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 it's some, all some, out. So it got to be something else that's going to get you to be successful at the next level. So that's something that Zion is going to have to face when he gets here. Like, of course, he had a great college career, but he's playing against other college players. And he even struggled with some of them, mm -hmm. the ones that were just as strong as him, who could jump. They didn't even have to jump like him, but if they could jump, now they're causing, they're presenting problems for for a guy like him. So I think he's just going to have to go through an adjustment period. I think he's going to have to lose a ton of weight, and he's going to have to develop his right hand. I never seen him really finish with his mm -hmm. right hand. Uh, even some of the big skill guys that they've talked about in history, they only did certain things, yeah. like a Carl Malone, 
uh, even Elijah one and even Tim Duncan. They were, they, they were they were excellent at what they did. Like right. right now, he that's why I always when I say he doesn't have a skill, they was like, oh man, you're saying he's terrible. I said no, he doesn't have a skill. Skill is dribbling, passing, shooting. That's a skill. Mm -hmm. His natural ability is his natural ability. Yeah. He's a Bugatti. Yeah. He just like depending on where you put the car, depending on how this how gar, you know this car yeah. looks. So you know you put him at the the four. I don't see that car moving anywhere. You put him at the three. I don't know if he can handle that. You put him at the two. Even if he lose 30, 40 pounds. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of weight. He's still the biggest two guard. Like, he's still going to be faster than every shooting guard. He'll be stronger than every shooting guard. Yeah. He'll be the most athletic shooting guard. So, that is his, that's the, that's the position that makes him the next GOAT. At Three, four, two. no chance. Yeah, I can see that at the two. At the two, like. I can see that. Oh, he can't shoot. Well, at this point, he don't really need to learn how to shoot. You got to remember, he one dribble, he's going to be past Jimmy Butler and Klay Thompson, all these guys, mm -hmm. just off of his mm -hmm. explosiveness. So with the coming downhill, it would be hard to stop him. It's like Westbrook. He's coming at you. It's really hard coming with that kind of power. If you think he's going to post up, like, uh -huh, and then I'm going to jump over you, that's, that's never going to happen. happen.